Lesson 3. Software parts of a computer. By the end of this lesson, you should describe the software parts of a computer. In lesson 1 and 2, we discussed the main and peripheral hardware parts of a computer. Watch the other lessons in order for you to connect ideas well. In this lesson, we will learn about the software. In previous lessons, we stated that all computers have two many parts, that is hardware and software. Software is simply sets of instructions, programs or applications that tell a computer what to do. Imagine turning on the computer that do not have software. The hardware will be on, but there will be nothing to show on the screen. You can even move the mouse and press the keyboard, but you won't get any response. A computer is a programmed device. Therefore, without the software, the hardware can do nothing. Programs are sets of instructions that tell a computer what to do. Programs are also known as software. The two types of software are system and application software. We will now discuss the system software. The system software is also called the operating system, OS. It runs the basic functions of the computer. Almost all computers have operating systems. The most popular operating systems are Microsoft Windows, Apple Mac OS, and Linux or Ubuntu. You should note that an operating system is a link between the user and the computer. The system software translates what the user of a computer executes into commands that the computer hardware can understand and process. On the other hand, the operating system translates data from the computer into understandable information like text, images, and sound. Other tasks that the operating system performs are to run programs, set speaker volume, store data, and display information on the screen. There are also other types of system software such as antivirus programs that protect the computer against viruses, utilities that manage files, screen servers, and programs that monitor the health of the hard drive. Having discussed the system software or operating system, we can now talk about the application software or programs installed on the computer that perform specific tasks are called application software. These specific tasks can be work related or just for entertainment. We will now discuss the main application software that are found in computers. Web browsers are applications that help you to search and navigate 
information on the internet. Examples of web browsers are Edge, Opera, Google Chrome, Firefox, and Brave. The other main application software are weight processing and spreadsheets. These applications help people to write reports, school documents, books, and do financial and general calculations. Graphics applications help to create videos like the one you are watching, images, vector graphics, and so on. Examples of graphic applications are CorelDRAW, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Character Maker, and Microsoft Paint. Lastly, database applications store information and make it easy to search and retrieve the information. Examples of database applications are Microsoft Database and Oracle. Activity Number one, make a list of eight applications or apps that people use in their computers or smartphones. Describe the functions of each and state whether it is for entertainment or business. Number two, explain the importance of both the system and application software. Summary. In this lesson, you learned that software include various programs such as the system software or operating system like Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You further learned that applications like word processing and spreadsheets are also part of software. Thank you.